News Now. 1231 on today's TMJ4. Police are out at 34th and Hampton at what looks like a high-speed chase that ended in a crash. Cody Holyoke is live at the scene. Cody, what can you tell us about what's happening out there? Vid Sam, good afternoon. I, I, for what we've talked to uh, the eyewitnesses here on the scene, they've never seen a car driving this fast down this stretch of Hampton Avenue. I'll step out of the way. You can see the aftermath. Over on the right-hand side of, of your screen, there was a car uh, hit by a Nissan as it uh, sped from police here. We have uh, Glendale police on the scene as well as Milwaukee police. We'll go to our mass camp so you can see what they're looking at right now. There's a Nissan uh, about 100 yards from where I'm standing right now, and that is where police have been for the last uh, 30 minutes or so. We do know, according to eyewitnesses, that there was a high-speed chase around here uh, involving, as we said, both Glendale and Milwaukee police. I talked to the man. You see that uh, blue car that was smashed up. He was just a bystander to have to be caught up in the middle of all this. Here's what he had to say. I was driving to here and uh, wait to the signal, turn left, and when I'm turning left with the signal, the car coming fast, like in 70, 80 uh, miles per hour. Hit me in, in the back. There were police cars following it. Yeah, a lot of them. I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of, but a lot of police is following him. Now back live, you can see detectives and uh, 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 patrol officers going through this uh, this Nissan. We do know from uh, eyewitnesses that police pulled at least uh, one or two people from that vehicle. We hope to know more as we uh, are allowed. Uh, as soon as they pull down the crime scene tape, we're going to get more information from police. Reporting live at 34th and Hampton, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. All right, Cody, thanks very much. Well, the East Coast got blasted by devastating storms, damaging winds, and heavy rains knocked out power for thousands of people. And that triggered massive travel delays from New England to Florida. Indra Petersons has more.